Franklin never faced trial for the two murders he confessed to in our area since he already faced a death sentence. But the city brought him back to town to stand trial for the bombing. And tonight we're going to take you back into our archives for the trial of Joseph Paul Franklin in Chattanooga almost 30 years ago. The jury followed along with transcripts as Franklin described in detail how he bought the 50 pounds of dynamite, how he blew up the synagogue, and how he committed various other crimes, including murder. The Alabama native said he bought the explosives a month before the bombing. Inspector Charles Love, do you remember where the store was? Franklin, it was somewhere, I believe, it was near Red Mountain somewhere. Is there a Red Mountain? Inspector Love, near Red Bank? Franklin, Red Bank, yeah, or something. Seemed like there was a mountain there or something. Later in the interview, Franklin identifies it as Signal Mountain and the store as Mill and Mine Supply Company. Franklin went on to say how he placed the box of dynamite under the synagogue and then ran extension cords to a nearby motel, where he plugged them in, triggering the explosion. Inspector Love, why did you pick that particular synagogue or synagogue at all? Franklin, so I can kill some Jews, some Khazars. Inspector Love, there are several in Chattanooga. Why did you pick the Beth Shalom Synagogue? Franklin, it just seemed like the best location. I looked it up in the yellow pages, and it just looked like it was the best, you know, the easiest to get to. To get an idea of Franklin's racial views, here are some statements from the transcripts. Franklin, the Jews are mentioned in Revelation 13, and they get their power from Satan. They're referred to in the Bible as the beast, and they get their power from the dragon, who is Satan. It's like Hitler said, they hadn't come the Jews that lived in personification of Satan and Earth. They're trying to destroy the white race, which is Israel, through race mixing. Prosecuting attorney Stan Lanzo began the closing remarks by saying Franklin was hiding behind the facade of God and that the jury should put him where he belongs, in jail. He'll kill you if you're born Jewish or if you're white and you're seen talking to a black person, Lanzo said. If he sees it, he'll kill you. Defense attorney Hugh Moore countered by carefully pointing out the contradictions in Franklin's tape confession, which was aired Wednesday. For example, Franklin said he used a particular kind of explosive called a slurry mix when federal agents found no evidence of the mix at the site of the bombing. Defense attorney Jerry Summers was then going to emphasize those discrepancies when Franklin suddenly said he wanted to address the jury. Judge Meyer agreed, and while federal marshals surrounded him, the self-avowed racist stunned everyone in the courtroom by saying to the jury, quote, I'll make your job a little easier. I'll admit to you I bombed the synagogue. I'll tell anybody around, Franklin said, it was the synagogue of Satan. District Attorney General Gary Gerbert said even without Franklin's statement, the evidence against him was overwhelming. If there's one super significant thing, it surely was the fact that when you play that tape and you listen to the man talk, and not just read it on a cold record, you realize this is the guy that did it. And uh, he knows what he's talking about, and he did it, he did it for a reason, and it's pretty well expressed. He's his, uh, he was our best witness. The jury deliberated less than an hour. Franklin was found guilty of two counts, one for the illegal possession of explosives and for the bombing of the Beth Shalom Synagogue in 1977. For the members of the Jewish faith attending the trial, the importance of the verdict went beyond keeping the 33-year-old Alabama native here. behind bars. Yeah, it's very easy in this country to respect someone for different beliefs, different lifestyles, different practices, but it's another, and, and maybe even to dislike some people who don't share your common lifestyles and practices, but it's another thing to take that into action that's life threatening. And that's what people should be concerned with. And I think it's important to see and hear what these people say and who they are and what they are. And while it may hurt emotionally to listen, it's very important to hear it. Franklin's sentence will follow the four consecutive life sentences he faces for the two murders in Salt Lake City, which brings up an interesting question. Some people were wondering, why should we have bothered with the expense of this trial? Well, criminal court judge Doug Meyer said it best when he said that this trial should put the word out that we will not tolerate any crimes against humanity. At the Criminal Court Building, Gene Pinder, TV12, Tri-State Report.